All right, so in this video, I want to talk about a couple things over the past week or so. Um, GTA 6 being delayed or not being delayed and the PS5 Pro. So starting off with GTA 6, almost a week ago, we heard of um, GTA 6 being pushed back into 2026, possibly by somebody named Liam. Apparently, he's a pretty reliable source when it comes to GTA 6. But um, yeah, he said it would be pushed back into mid-2026. He heard from some people who worked at Rockstar, supposedly. And of course, GTA 6 being the game that it is, being the biggest game that will ever come out probably for a long time, people were going crazy. You know, they had their doubts, they were starting to have their doubts, but they were put to rest, I would say, when Jason Stryer came out and said that he didn't speak to anybody or he spoke to people and they didn't know of any delays regarding GTA 6. But again, that doesn't mean the game hasn't been delayed or won't be delayed. I've been thinking that the game's already been delayed because, you know, with those earnings reports last year, I believe, Rockstar said fiscal year 2025, they were expecting to make a lot of money. But fiscal year 2025 ends in April 2025, I believe. And, you know, Rockstar has said that the release window for GTA 6 is going to be fall 2025. If you guys can't tell, I'm trying to record without making a lot of cuts, so if I sound like I'm out of breath or, you know, I'm over here stuttering, forgive me. I'm trying to learn to record without making so many cuts. But yeah, from what we know, GTA 6 hasn't been delayed yet. There's no news, no official news from Rockstar, but of course, internally, there could be some delays that they just haven't said yet. They could have possibly not even told their employees yet or certain employees because... Also, we've heard from other sources that some employees have said the game is going to be pushed back, but some employees said they haven't heard of any delays. So, again, it's possible that everybody isn't on the same page yet. All I'm saying is, if they're actually going to delay the game, I hope they don't do it, or I hope they don't wait last minute and tell us, oh, um, yeah, we're going to push the game back like six months, guys. When we get to December, they tell us that. Like, no, if you're going to push the game back, just tell us now. So we can expect it. We're already, at this point, we're in the year. Once we get to December, we're expecting the game to drop, like, less than a year from now. So, or from that point. So, you know, if if you're going to delay the game, just tell us. We're, we already waited this long. And also, Rockstar delaying GTA 6 wouldn't be out of character for them. They've delayed, I believe, most of their games. If you want to look at the most recent ones, GTA 5, they pushed back, like, six months. Same with Red Dead. It was supposed to come out, um... Spring of 2018 ended up coming out in the fall 2018. So GTA 6, it might not be any different. And if they do push the game back, I'm sure it means that they absolutely had to because, you know, Rockstar isn't known for dropping their games buggy and messed up at launch. And part of that is probably because they're not afraid to delay the game. They know that they're, they're held to a certain standard and I'm sure they hold themselves to a certain standard. So they want the game to be as best as it could when it comes out. All right, now on to the PS5 Pro. $700, that's a lot of money. That's absolutely preposterous. Now, I know it's got all this fancy new hardware, you know, it's faster, stronger, got more space, all that, but that's double the digital PS5 and $200 more than the normal PS5. That's just way too much money for the average consumer. Like, and my fault, I know I said double the digital PS5, it's $300 more, but it could be doubled because you got to pay $80 for a disk drive if you want it and most people will want it and then you got to pay an extra whatever maybe like $20 $30 for the stand the vertical stand that keeps your PS5 standing up the one that they advertise the PS5 with you have to buy that separately they're being greedy if you're gonna charge $700 for a console even if it's a pro console at least at least just leave the disk drive there and include the vertical stand that was already there why are you taking it out to charge more? It is, come on, you're just messing with the consumers at this point. Like for the PS5 Slim, they didn't even take the disk drive away. They left it there, and that's supposed to be the Slim model. It'd make more sense to take that away from that console. But, you know, you're going to take away from the Pro console. It's supposed to be like a beefy thing, you know? They advertise this console as one for players who want the best experience on PlayStation, yet they take away the one thing that most players, 9 out of 10 players, will most likely need to use this console. I would say that most players still have their games physically, they have the disc versions of their games. And even if not, let's just say they didn't get any PS5 um, disc games, they had them all digitally, they would still have a whole bunch of PS4 games physically that they can't use on that PS5. And again, most people still play PS4 games on their PS5 because there's not too many PS5 games and there's just been that many PS4 games, you know? 
And, you know, they know what they're doing, Sony. They know that most people still prefer to keep physical copies of their games. And in order to play those games, they're going to have to use a disk drive. So it's easy to say, why not just make it separately and they can buy it for $80. We can make more money that way. I don't know the details with all the specs and all that, but I'm sure the console is actually worth $700 if you look into it. But again, Sony is a billion dollar company. You shouldn't be charging. I personally don't think you should charge $700. It's just you're cutting out the majority of your audience, you know, $700 is a lot of money to everybody. But regardless of all that I just said, the console is going to sell like crazy. You know, I'm sure most people eventually they're going to get a pro console, especially around the time of GTA 6, which I'm sure they're going to have a bundle GTA 6 with the PS5 Pro. Um, 700, oh, sorry. No, it's already $700, $820. $820. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. We begin the pro as soon as it comes out or a little bit after. For me personally, it really depends on GTA 6. That's the main factor at play here for me. If the game runs better on the Pro, like like significantly better, then I'll have almost no choice but to get the Pro because it's GTA 6. I need the best experience. But um, yeah, as always, like the video if you like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.